Hello and welcome to another video at Boonetics, the community for sim racing beginners and enthusiasts alike. I discovered an application by accident while I was looking for any important updates for Assetto Corsa Competizione to maybe change the in-game HUD and experience of the game and I found one. And in this video I'm going to present you Armamentario, a custom application to completely change your in-game HUD and adapt Assetto Corsa Competizione to your needs. Let's just take a look at the in-game HUD and everything you can see once you jump in there. And actually now, before starting up Armamentario, we are just heading into the options, deactivating everything and check again how it looks. So when we open up the options and go to the setting for HUD, you can see that basically Everything is disabled now from gear speed, pedals, lap time, circuit map, tires app, session info, automatic pit stop MFD, uh, light indicators, virtual noise. Basically, anything is disabled. And unfortunately, the only thing that I can't get rid of in us at the Corsa Competizione is in the bottom left, the info and listings for drivers. But that's okay. We can keep that. And the other thing that uh, you can't unfortunately disable is uh, the infos about your rating in the top right corner. So let's now take Armamentario, start it up and see what we can set up there. Now, before we change the modules or do anything, make sure that your Assetto Corsa Competizione video options, you disable full screen so that you can overlay the modules without any issues. So this is how Armamentario looks for you and we just go here on the left side and then you see the pre-made modules and for example it's pretty easy you either click it on favorites so you can always see it uh, in like the main list if you want to quickly open it up so anything you just want to keep you can add there in the main frame but let's just now go through all the modules for example the drive overlay just click it and you will see it pop up um, we want the extra HUD overlay, just click it and it adds the extra HUD overlay in there. And now what you can already do is just go back into the game and then just basically find your mouse and drag the modules wherever you want them. Then you can lock and unlock modules. And now you can even add more modules, for example, session info, fuel overlay you can even have a custom damage overlay to see where exactly your car is damaged and you can put in some tire overlay now again let's just find our mouse and drag the modules however we want to and with these custom options you are now at the beginning of building your own custom overlay now some more options are hidden in the settings tab and we can activate that we want to hide overlays while we are not on track. For example, if you head into the pit and want to check your setup of the car so that the overlay is not in the way of anything important. And you can activate to display overlay actions while CTRL is held. And if you want to make your life easier, be sure to set a shortcut to hide or show the overlay modules so you can easily quick fix and change them while you're sitting in the car. So if we go back home, we actually can now check all the apps and have many, many, many different settings of what you want to see there. You can change the background color. You can change the text color. You can adapt the background transparency. You can, and that's, I think, was one of the coolest features that I actually asked the guys if they have it in development and they really did it, is you can scale. As you can see in the game, you can make stuff bigger or smaller. You can show custom clutch telemetry. You can show the speedo, but you can also deactivate that if you don't want it. You don't want to see the steering wheel and just your pedal inputs. No worries. Let's just do it like that. And you can change the settings of every single module to your liking. And that's really cool. I especially like the overlay scale, which was for me one of the most important features. Because like this, I can now build a completely custom HUD for my streaming and content creation, but also for my race experiences. So let's just show you how it looks like on track while driving. And for this, I just put together a bit of everything, put it right in the middle, in like in my field of view. 
I changed the sizes a little bit and adapted it a tiny bit just so you can see how it looks in action. And what immediately pops out to me is the beautiful drive hut where you can see the RPMs and uh, the indicator when to shift your set mapping and uh, fuel load, your ABS traction control and brake bias. So this is like immediately in your immediate field of view and I really enjoyed it. And you can see the pedal inputs, brake pedal, throttle, the steering wheel and actually the duplicated uh, speedometer. So we could get rid of that now that we see it. And what really is outstanding here to me is actually the tire app. The tire app is absolutely awesome. It not only shows you in color what's going on, it shows you the temperatures in degrees of the tires, of the brake dick, and also the tire pressures. And you can see how this changes while we are driving. Now this is absolutely incredible because it gives you the edge when doing a setup for your car because you can see over the full lap how the temperature of the tire is changing and what you should do to adapt the tire temperatures and improve tire life. You can also see the fuel app uh, next to the steering wheel which shows you the estimated laps because of what you are consuming and how much is in the tank there. And that can give you the edge, for example, when racing in endurance with your partner, because it's really easy to see how much you need to add because of the consumption and uh, the estimated laps left. Now, the um, session info with the temperatures is actually, in this case, a hut you could deactivate for race sessions. Can you see how the tire temperatures and brake disc temperatures are changing? This is absolutely awesome, I love it. And don't forget, we have actually the crash info for the damage on the bottom right. So, shall we just try and see what happens if we slightly crash into a wall? This is absolutely crazy. You can see the values changing there and how much damage you have and how much time that might cost you. So as you can see now, fiddling around a bit and changing some stuff, you can make it look really awesome with all the important information right in front of you. And that will definitely improve it and make it easier for you to understand what's going on and make it all look so clean. But if you don't like that and you, you know, want to change even more, just Feel free to experiment, adapt the HUD to your liking. And one other cool thing is actually that Armamentario has an integrated fuel calculator. So there is no more need to go crazy with your own app on the smartphone or like stress yourself out. You can just see everything that's going on here with your tires, with your fuel and just react and calculate it based on what you did in the game. Isn't this incredible? I absolutely love it and I'm for sure using Armamentario on one of my next streams so that you can see it in action. Of course, it takes a bit of time to get used to it once uh, you have been playing Assetto Corsa Competizione for months or over a year like I did with the in-game HUD. But this opens up a whole new world of options, not only for the stream but also for like endurance races or uh, league racing or some other stuff just to make it easier, look so much cleaner and smoother. and. While I absolutely love the app, it still has some, you know, just little tweaks that are needed to be done. For example, if you're dragging some of the modules way too quick over the screen, they might just like stop. So just take your time when you are adapting your HUD. Don't stress yourself. Experiment with the options. Check it out. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how you like it. And please... Visit the developers, give them feedback, maybe give them ideas of features you would like to see. They are absolutely smashing it, very motivated. And if you would like to show some support to them, just feel free to do so to support their uh, ongoing efforts in making Armamentario even more awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll hope I see you in one of my next streams. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for future updates. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Boonatix out.